Welcome to Ask Linwood Cop. I'm Teresa Whipple. Sergeant Cole Langan, welcome back. Thanks for having me again. We are talking today about something that's a little bit complicated, but I think people have seen it happen. Um, you're waiting at a red light and you see a police car um, also there who puts on sirens and lights and goes through the intersection. And then when they get through, they turn everything off and continue on. And it seems a little suspicious maybe to those of us in the public, like they're trying to get away with something, but you say that's not the case. Sure. When you see a response like that, when you see an officer going through an intersection with his lights and siren on and then maybe turning them off as soon as he gets to the other side, he's not late for a coffee date. He's uh, <laughs> not just trying to get through the intersection because he's tired of waiting. He's, he's following a standard protocol that we have in place for response to calls. And I'll go through the three levels of response we have at Linwood. The first level of response is our routine response. And with the routine response, what you actually have is um, an expectation that the officer drive at the speed limit and that they set an example to the motoring public so they obey all the traffic laws. Instances where that would be appropriate is if they respond to any cold call or any report, anything that's not in progress or that would be deemed dangerous. Second level of response we have would be a, a kind of a heightened level of response and that's our quick response. And with quick response, our officers are actually allowed to go up to 10 miles over the speed limit. They can go through intersections if there's congestion or if there's a time sensitive issue. Uh, a common example would be, let's say we have a shoplift down at the mall where mm -hmm. loss prevention officers are attempting to detain somebody who's just stolen from their store. Uh, they might be getting into a fight or a scuffle with this person. And so we need to get there to protect all the parties that are involved. And the police tend to have a calming effect when they get on scene at these incidents. The final level of response we have is the code response. And that's our highest level of response. And with that, our officers can go up to 25 miles over the speed limit. They can go through intersections. And that's full lights and siren. But going back, and that would be for any sort of emergency situation, a bank robbery in progress, a uh, domestic violence incident where somebody's being assaulted. Those are those are fairly common examples where we would respond code to a call, as we call it. Uh, the routine response, you're not even going to notice, but the quick response will catch people's attention. And what I can tell you is that they are not just late for a coffee date. They're not abusing their authority. They're actually responding to a call, trying to get there as quick as possible without going up to that final full emergency level. So they are following their policy and it is allowed in the law for them to respond that way. Okay. Well, if you're wondering, you now have it officially. Thanks for having uh, taking the time to come and see us today, and we'll be back again soon with another episode of Ask Linwood Cop.